So today I want to show you how you can multi-track record your patches with the Lilac Looper and the MindMeld Mix Master. Here I already have a patch built, I have some drums here with a tremor tool and a few slips sequencers. I have here a bass with some modules here from Surge. Right, a sort of a melody with key call here from Befaco. And also the FM operator has a burst of distorted notes. Right, so I have many tracks here, many voices, send effects and so on. And now I want to record the different channels individually for further processing in the DAW, let's say. And this is possible with the Lilac Looper module. Right, so here on the mixer again I have eight channels, some are mono, some are stereo. As you can see on the MindMeld mixer, we have three polyphonic direct outputs, right? We have one to eight, so tracks one to eight. We have nine to 16, and we have the group tracks and the auxiliary tracks, which are the send effects. Right now, again, I only have um, eight tracks here, so I just need the one to eight. This will go to the input of the first Lilac Looper, I will use two, because the second one I will use to record the groups and auxiliary. Now in this case I don't really have any groups set, but I do have here Plateau as a send reverb, right, and it will be recorded on a channel of its own. And this is how send effects work, also in hardware, also in the DAW. Send effects always get their own dedicated channel. If you want the send effects to be a part of the signal itself, you will have to add effects to the chain of the modules you are using. Here, for example, you can see this, I'm using kick all, have your chain, and at the end it goes through a river because I want the river to be a part of the signal itself. Now there are a few options in the right click menu of the looper. Right under file setting, we can choose the format, right? You can choose wave or AIF. We can choose the bit depth. In this case, I have it on 16 bit. And you can choose what happens with the polyphony. Again, from the mind meld mixer, we get a polyphonic signal, one for one to eight, one for nine to 16, and one for the groups and auxiliary. You can see we have all the channels of polyphony. So again, we can choose here what happens. By default, it will sum all of the channels into one signal, single um, track but we can also choose to multi-track everything and get the individual channels. So I will do this for both loopers. Right, and now I need a way to start recording to both of them together, right? So I will just use in this case the push module from VCV that will trigger both loopers at the same time. And now I can record a few seconds, just let's say, right, just as an example, right? This will record also the performance and everything else you do inside the patch. I recorded this and now you can choose to export the audio file. Now you will get a multi-track file for each looper you used. This is how it will look like. You can see I have one WAV file, but it's multi-tracked with all the 16 channels of polyphony. Here I have one for the tracks. Here I have one for the send effects. Now you will need a way to separate the tracks. Um, I'm sure there are many ways of doing this. In my case, I'm using Reaper, as you can see. Right, so if I right-click the item itself and I go to Item Processing, right, I can choose to explode the multi-channel audio. And then basically what I get is a folder with all the individual tracks, all the individual channels. Right, now this is where things become a bit annoying. Please, if you're using Reaper and you have a better solution for this, let me know. But now what I got is basically 16 mono tracks. Now I want eight stereo tracks. So there is an action I can use to implode two mono tracks into a stereo one. Right, so if for example, I choose both first channels and I go to actions, right, and I click here, implode. Let me make this a bit bigger. Right, I have implode selected um, items to text, to takes and pen symmetrically. Right, so if I run this, now I have one stereo track. Right, so now I will do this to all the rest of the channels. 
Right now I can delete the ones I don't need, the empty ones basically. I will do the same also with the effects track. Again, also here it's a multi-channel. I had only one reverb a send effect, so I have just a one stereo here. I right click it, go to item processing, export multi-channel audio. Right, and now I get a folder with everything. Of course, all of the empty ones I don't really need, so I can just delete them. And then again, I'm going to use the same action just to convert this into one stereo channel. Implode items to takes and pan symmetrically, right? And then I can get rid of this one here. Right, and now it should sound the same, right? We have eight stereo tracks for the channels themselves and one stereo track for the send reverb everything on its own channel right so i can solo things i can mute things i will just for a second take this a bit down here and um, let's say about uh, minus eight just because it can get a bit loud if everything is playing together right so now it will sound the same as the patch right and again i can solo things so for example this is the kick Right, I can name this kick if I want. I have here other channels, the bass. Right, and this is how the effects will sound. Right, every, every track that I send into the send reverb will be recorded after the reverb to this track. Right, I can also process them. So for example, if I want to add some some beef to this kick, I can use something like, for example, a supercharge here. Right, compress it a bit. Right, just change things, and now I can process things individually, change the levels, and so on. And that's it. Again, it can be a bit of a work, but um, if you like to multitrack record your patches and performances and process them further in your DAW, you might want to check this out. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.